Oops. Hello everyone. I am so full. I just ate a ball of mashed potatoes, chili con can, and maize or corn for people who are in America. And I also bake a cake because I love cakes and buying them all the time is can be quite expensive even though it can be just 10 to $15 depending on what you buy. Uh, if you follow me on Inst Instagram, you know I love cheesecake. Um, so I just wash no. Shall I wash my hair a couple of hours ago? I ate and I'm still hungry. So I'm having cake. I'm the kind of person who's not afraid of calories. To be honest with you, I understand. In my family, there are people who are like have different like body type. My sister is skinny. My mom's starting to gain weight. My sister's skinny. Like I'm thin. My sister's like way more like, thinner than me. My mom's brother, if he eats a little bit too much, he starts like getting on weight. So I do really understand that people have different body type but um if you think that if you're afraid of something if you're afraid like oh if i eat i'm gonna get cal i'm gonna get calorie you're gonna get calorie you you're gonna no oh shit if i eat my calories i'm gonna get fat you're gonna get fat i don't i'm not on diet i eat my sugar i eat my cheesecake i drink whatever i need i don't do it in excess for sure if anyone tell you they do it in excess and they all Okay, they are either really, really young or they smoke, according to me. But anyway, um, the topic today, I wanted to do winter in Barry, but I think there's a, a couple of video of winter in Barry. So I'm going to push that aside and take the opportunity to talk about how you can pay for school while you are Georgian, because I did it through blood and sweat and or sweat and tears. Yeah, that's, I guess that's the expression. <coughs> So I did that and I went very aggressively because I had a short period of time. However, this wake up call helped me a lot because it helped me be disciplined, motivated, consistent and resilient, especially resilient. So um, so it's, it's a bit long, so I'm going to cut it into maybe two parts or three parts. So part one would be um, what I did. And the reason I'm doing that because I went in aggressively because I, I had just three to four months to do it. But you don't have to. Especially it's November and Black Friday is coming. So um, I'll show you. So first of all, I wanted to show you what I did. And then um, give you a, the second part, um, tell you what you can do. And the third part, or I can put it in the second part, how you can use that, for example, use your co-op and you can be like oh my god my co-op is not coming anytime soon so i can show you how to like walk your way <sighs> my english is really bad today work not walk work your way around this so let's get started so the first thing i did is um being frugal so why is this very important because you can earn as much money as you want, and this is called uh, lifestyle inflation. So some people would have a part-time job as a student, and once they once they graduate and get the full-time job, they upgrade. So they have full apartment, they spend a little bit more because it, they're just like, oh, I've deprived myself so much, so I deserve it. So of course you do deserve it, but um, if you don't do it proportionally, I guess, I'm sorry if my English is not good today. I'm a little bit tired um, and a little bit stressed. So, yeah, if it's not, yeah, it should be in proportion because if when you were working on part time job, you had like a thousand bucks and you were spending, let's say, 700, let's say 500 for your rent and 200 for 550 for your food and 50, let's say, for your burn bill. So approximately seven hundred. So if you 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 have you get twenty thousand now because you work full time, so it's double, and you find yourself with only a hundred bucks per month, 
after you all your bills it's kind of a little bit weird right because you're still one person you still do the same you still have the same expenses and all the, and all these things so first of all is being frugal the second thing i did so the second thing i did was i work really hard and when i say i work really hard is that my back was hurting i was working at a call center that was paying me um eighteen dollar an hour and if you think like oh my god i get just fourteen dollar an hour that's totally fine i'm going to get to that afterwards to show you and give you my tips of how i would have done things separate uh, differently separately <sighs> how i would have done things differently that's okay i got your back that's 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 fine So I work in, I'm not going to speak for all um, provinces because I was in Ontario and legally in Ontario, when you work full time, you can work up to 60 hours. So the normal hours is 37.5, the minimum full time is 37.5, 45. So um, 60 hours is with the overtime and everything. I was working like 10 hours per day. And sometimes there would be um there would be overtime as well that i would pay and if i work overtime they pay me more so this is this is so i took all that money i saved it i was very frugal and i would tell you you don't have to be as extreme as i was and i don't want anyone i don't want any one of you and i'm serious and i'm getting very emotional in regards to that i don't want to any one of you to get into what i got because I was eating two minute noodles. Sorry. I was eating two minute noodles with no eggs on it, just plain like that, so that I can have the egg and put it, let's say, on the bread. Because I wouldn't buy anything more than that. I would take food from the food locker. I would eat canned food. I would eat cereals and milk and banana just to fill me up just bread and butter all these kinds of things just to lower just to have um just to lower my expenses that's what i did and up until now today when i am in a better place well i could be better but i was not whatever. the point is the point is now when people bring craft dinner or stuff like that or cook craft you know i have nothing against it it's quick it's but when i eat it i want to cry because i feel sorry i when i was eating that way i felt so sorry for myself i would like look at myself and be like look at how you eat like look at how you live look at how you eat like you you're here having back pain crying eating sh like sometimes i would eat it because i would eat like you know all the time bread all the time i would try to drink water to make everything pass so this is how frugal i was i was like really tight i work long hours and i so all this money coming in my bank account like i got 18 dollars plus over time 60 hours all this money into my bank account and uh eating like shit and then when i had to pay for school all of that just went away like that so um I'm doing that because I went through it. I don't fucking want you to go through that. And um, that's why I'm telling you that. But if you are um, short on time and you want to and you want to save money for your schooling, this is how you do it. And I'm telling you, you're not going to be able to save for a year. It's just you have to do it semester per semester. So I paid for my second year. So I paid the first semester. And then once I was finished, I started saving money again and paid for the second semester. So this is what I did and um so i did that and then i did some cash job on the side so imagine how how tired i was guys um so i was living in a place where my landlord had a kid so i would babysit the kid so i was very lucky in doing that um one of the tenants left and when he let leave for like more than six months the, the furniture is yours so we would flip the furniture and we would sell it and I would get money for that. Um, I did some freelancing. So 
guys get in touch with edgebag get in touch with all this organization that you have at school so you have edgebag you have um it's three of them the three pillars like oh my god one day I will do a video on what you should do when you first come to Georgian so that you seize all the opportunity, all the network. If you want to make a, a good network, if you want to meet people, I'll show you how to do that. Um, so I did some freelancing and this is how I met investors, business investors. Uh, I speak French, as you know, so I did uh, some translation for a company, for a small chocolate company. So I did all of that. And again, I know you might say like, oh, I don't know anyone to do um, freelancing. I don't know. That's okay. Like I told you, this is what I did. I got you back. If you're very like, if it's like you're short on time, these are things you can work around. Look on Fiverr, look on Facebook Marketplace. But if you have more time, which I think you did, you do. Um, we're going to work for that. I'm going to give you more tips. Um, second thing I did was, and you can do that like right now, like right now, please, 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 please do that right now. Um, so Black Friday is coming this, when is Black Friday coming? On Friday. <laughs> Black Friday is on Friday. So it's next week and um, Black, seize this opportunity to lower your phone bill, please. You, everyone's going to give sales. Everyone is going to try to get customers. Go to Georgian Mall because there's this little shop don't go to like individual one there's one which is huh, it's near the dvd place it's near the garage if i'm not mistaken mistaking go there because they have different phone providers so instead of going one two three go to them and look for the best one look for the best one and then for example just an example let's say the best one is freedom which is the cheapest one but i don't think it's the best one you can take um let's say rogers or virgin or whatever can take that and go to because they're already in there there and be like hey i i um i want to lower my phone bill this is what your competitors is giving me so maybe you can do something so you can lower your phone bill take the advantage to um reduce your bill as much as you can uh for the bank try to look for it like for a discount stuff like that and um yeah, so there are other tips I could give you. I was going to throw in the high interest savings account, but you're not going to get that money, that interest on it after, you're, you're going to get the interest on it after 90 days. So there's no point of actually doing that right now. You're going to have to wait three months. So I'm going to throw that in the part two. The video is already long. It's 12 minutes. I'll try to make it more short and concise. Even though I have to do part three, part four, I think it's better than doing a super long video. I'm so sorry. I hope you got some tips. Uh, don't worry, I got your back. Second uh, part two is gonna come, and I'm gonna tell you how you can work through it, what you can do, and stuff like that. So that being said, thank you very much. Um, keep DMing me if you have any suggestion for future videos. Please let me know.